Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride. To Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby. For a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. You won't take the long shit. For us, just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if you want to enter Grandebridgeshire. Yeah. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, yeah. but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Here's... This water smells off. You get used to it. To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. I will not soon forget this sight.
And here we are. Welcome to Grantabritch. We should make our way to the longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And the launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Oxenavode. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randri. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you were teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right, stay close, and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. I won't go down easy! I thought you wanted to do this in secret! You seemed hot for a battle. So well, here we go! Oh, stop on the maggot!
Done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Mm. I feel great. a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the... At home. Tekla has all the... Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Hey! Where'd you learn to ride? Darfartera base that big useful. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor! Over here! Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Done you better. Show, 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 show,
See? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it's yours. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no! Thank you! I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunova described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. Yeah. You and Soma. Was there something more to your... Stretch your wings, Sunan. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular yeah. shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work.
Well, well. Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there's no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. I am honored by your feelings, Ranvi. But I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement.
You look well. Eivor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was... restless. A quiet walk alone clears the head. And you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your company. And your friendship. And you for yours. Now, shall we get back to it? I want to see the Alliance map. Hytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Halfton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return.
Best not to draw attention here. If they see me, this will get messy. Gate of London. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The Olaf. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? The governor is Burr. I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor in Avery. Stow! Avgos wants his cut. Of the summer harvest, shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the holdup? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple. He can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Quiet day once in a great while. I try not to kill anyone, eh? I'm well in your face. 
face is a skull cap stone. Watch your head there. Eyes on your foe. God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. It is good to meet you, Reeve Stow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stow. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Avo. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Birra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reef? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Elke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? Um, this letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome. 
went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this person. Oh dear. What is it? Three notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses. <laughs> this old man has a wandering hand. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Find anything. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? 
I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. <laughs> the Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. Something's got the boxes on it.
Compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the Arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a wizard. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted. Like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. Yaki and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. seen in this area. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. 
We know anything we can act on. The Arrow is a Dane, who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls. Though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately. But not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again, in several places. Cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. They know yet about the arrow and recruits. I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? Yes. 
You know him better than me. If you suspect him, only say the word. No. No, I, I believe in Erke. It's me I don't trust. I feel unfit for my post some days. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk, unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. This work the Ishfandian mod. Akne beat him lying, you wear. I have peace, you wasn't there? You got the coin? Show me. Is that the coin? For the archery contest? Keep off, boy. This is my coin. I shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Usa, and he'll point you through. We heard that Hector's job is still. stops are sold for months. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers in. Usa learned the point. She gave him the box of London. What's that? Eat me, Nick Tippers. Be gone! You reek of someplace else! I have a bow and a body ready to serve the arrow, so why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? It was Egbert of East Anglia. Yeah, right. Be gone before I kick your teeth in. Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads. I wanted to talk to you.
na bar. Dzień. My mom's <laughs> What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers. Now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor, a Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set, arrows not fire. Deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Husa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. of London. We have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to this... Arrows 
knocked! It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! See you, old friend. Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
you're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? I can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear, if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort, but glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erkish should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. Guards here are vigilant. <gasps> Show me. Is this the leech's work? They are. New corpses every day. If you are the only target for your people's fear, then they will turn on you. They're scared. If I am to be redeemed, I owe them the leech. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns, same as Trigger's gods. 
Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Snow has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that sparrow hut? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Keda. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna, lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith, a missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these dogs. Do I look like one who could? about this land. Just follow him, see where this leads. Careful now.
Really? Is this the place? Or... No, just meandering. This area is off limits.
yourself a good night. Something going on. What's going on? Hey! What's happening? going on now.
You got the purse I'm out. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Doya. Your money's with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back, so I sent her to good Sister Friedeswith, healer in town. Sister Friedeswith? Got broken bones, a boil on your bum, or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would, and she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. Show me what lies ahead.
This is where the leech dissects the fish. This is where the leech dissects her prey. Let's keep our wits about us. Hey, what? Stay awake. No! 
No shame in being patient. <laughs> the boat Dixa ad eos rapskaios Andreas
Sodom is here. We are sick, Jim. What the? Ah, go on. Damn you! One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? Ah, 
how you feel. I'll scare you. Complexiones Agnus It is done. Ah, the leech is bled out. And did you catch your name? A nun. Name of Frida's with. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> God! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida's with. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a mad woman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tone. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything, from boils to broken bones. It is worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book, this is your good sister's battlefield, her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life, but their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca.
Sinum in Some surly guests outside. Eivor! We were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let us go over all that has happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother in arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Frieswith. She was the leech, and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It is time we focused on the compass, gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye.
We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rep to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all its meat. What is on your mind, Stone? We know the compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out. I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass. Bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I want those Springles on our side. I will follow you, Stowe. Up on the ramparts. We'll redirect their fire. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. 
I'll see you when it's done, Elke. Count on it. Follow me to the ramparts, Abel! They'll have no chance!
around the side. Large enough to fall an ocean.
confident. I don't suffer the same disease. I'll drown and burn every last man, so this woman, and child in this large ship enough city. To Finger to aid your master. Die, please. Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Hudika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that time. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. 
Until our next meeting. I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trickers before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Eke. I will carry it with pride. speak with Hytham. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something?
I have to go. Then go in peace. <laughs>